Alright, hello there guys, following on from uh, part 2 of this video series, we're going to be working on the click of the button. So if the click uh, of 0 is equal to 1, so that's active, sort of binary if you know it, um, and action is not oh, sorry, not equal to uh, none then if action is equal to quit then pygame dot quit sorry that it's meant to be quit no just normal quit okay and uh, quit Kidoki. Yep, that's it. Now we go down a few lines. There we go. L if action equals button. So that's um, getting this the action here is being passed into the button function as rather than none. And the action is being if it's equal if the variable action being here action is equal to button which is being passed in over here then it's going to run this part so on so on obviously you can guess for quit what it's going to do um, and intro is equal to false uh, pi game sorry get your game display game display dot fill is white. So that's going to set the canvas to white once it's been pressed um, and it's going to then run game loop which obviously isn't going to keep running because we're not going to put a while loop in there, we're just going to put a bunch of text. Okay, so that is the end of that. Now this bit's going to be posted in, um, I'll post it in the comments of this video so don't worry, you won't have to write this out, this is just a bunch of Actually, there's going to be two parts here that's going to be posted into the comments. So, I'm going to chuck these over now. Um, starting here, I'm going to post them in. So, it's a, just a bunch of text writing stuff that I wrote or have written previously. I run it in all my script rather than just this one. But I decided it would be easy to show you what happens uh, when the button's clicked. And this is going to run the be helping with that. So now we're going to go define game loop. So that's what's going to be what's what's going to be run on the button being clicked. And we're going to game display the capital, of course, because we're still keeping the variable right. Game display dot fill and white Ooh. white. And then we're going to go message underscore two underscore screen um, this one doesn't really need to be shown because it's just sending stuff to a function here which is then getting stuff from a function here and displaying it and stuff I've already worked out how it, how it works and defined it all and stuff um, but I can show it anyway and then we go um, black text, obviously that's where the black comes in, then we got 50, so that's uh, the position of it, and then we got the size of the text, which is already predefined, um, one of the first things we copied in at the start, which is defined up here, and that size is going to be small, so yeah, that's that, and then we're going to go pie game dot display dot update parentheses then we're going to go clock dot tick and a 15 so that is all the loop we need for writing out um, this function of the button so if we run it now see we get the button we can mouse over it and it highlights when we go over it you click it and it tells you the button was clicked but because we're not doing a while loop within um, 
game loop to keep running it. After it's finished running the while loop, it gets to here and it reruns this one because it's at the bottom of the bottom of the code. Uh, obviously, if I did quit after the update, oh, actually no, that might not work. Oh yeah, well, yeah, well. You see, it tells the button was clicked, and then it quits the program rather than going back and running it again. But yeah, so let's go back through that. We got colors defined. We have our game display. Uh, our game display area is obviously not hard coded, so I can easily change all this. Uh, we have our fonts being defined, our clock being defined. We have our events being detected. So our mouse button. Our mouse position and our clicking clicking. Um, I actually think let's try this print event it prints the variable event and so I can show you then what happens when I mouse over the canvas yep there you go so it's telling you the mouse position the state of the button so you can click and it tells you and tells you what's happening and it tells you everything and it just continually prints and yeah so that's what that does um, then we have game displaying filling with white and printing the like button onto the canvas and it's continually running this until the mouse is over it if the mouse position isn't over the button it doesn't it just continually runs this code until the mouse button's over it or the yeah, mouse is over it uh, and then this is running detecting the click user the cursor and the user click uh, deciding whether the user cursor is over the top of the mouse button over the top of the button sorry and then changing the color then it's deciding whether or not you've clicked on the button within that area obviously it has to be over the top of this otherwise it can't even get down to here and then if it's clicked on quit it quits the game if it clicks on button it um, runs game loop which is this one um, this one here fills the display with white, sends this message to screen to here, which repositions everything, changes the size and etc. Updates that multiple times, clock ticks, and then it reruns the whole thing. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this has helped you guys with uh, buttons and so forth. Uh, I know I've always had trouble with making my own custom buttons, but I mean this. This makes it a lot easier. Um, I couldn't really. F I found it hard to find a video that would explain this to me my s personally. I had to go through a huge, big series to find it. A uh, hundred videos or something of Pi Game, and I decided that was probably too much for anyone else to ask, and so I decided to make this myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, as I know that I struggled to find it <laughs> when I was learning Pi Game. Um, but obviously I'm trying to make it easier for you guys to learn Pi game or Python at all. I kind of want to see future generations um, learning it. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, I hope you check out the rest of my videos. Obviously I do quite a few p Python tutorials, simple basic ones. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you.